In this video, we'll demonstrate Jakarta UI for CRM by building a new user interface on top of a CRM system, in this case, Siebel. Of course, the real goal will be creating a UI tailored to your particular customer service processes. For the purpose of this demonstration, though, we'll create a new UI that provides easier access to manage our customers. A typical CRM has multiple levels of navigation, multiple screens, tabs, deep levels of drill down, etc not very friendly for a customer service interaction. So in this example, we'll just simplify the existing CRM UI. First, let's plan out our UI before firing up the product. In our new interface, we'll provide the basic customer functions required to serve our agent in the call center. To start out, let's display a list of all customers here. We also want to have the ability to quickly add a customer, but by providing just the minimal amount of information. Let's add a new account box right here. Now, of course, we want the ability to edit the details of any customer, but we only want to provide access to edit basic information, and that means we want a simpler interface than what a CRM offers. Let's add a basic widget to edit address information. Applications in a call center always need to deal with retrieving the last conversations that took place so that the agent can quickly get up to speed on the current status. Let's add call notes, and we'll use that to display the last notes for the selected customer. Our dashboard design is looking pretty good, I think. Since we'll be using this in a call center, let's also provide the ability to add notes to the call. Finally, just to dress it up a little, let's integrate with a mapping service and visually display where the customer is located. Ideally, we'd also superimpose additional data points of interest, like sales regions, outages, infrastructure points, but for now, Let's just map the customer location. Now that we've designed our dashboard, let's build in the actual product. We already have the data sources connected to our CRM defined right here. Of course, we can add many more, and UI for CRM ships with pre-built connectors for most major CRM systems. We want to start by listing all of the available accounts. So let's select the Get Accounts data source over here and drag it over to our palette. And let's choose to display it as a grid table. Now keep in mind, the data source will be queried live in the designer to see which fields are available to us. To make things even easier, it shows us some representative data along the way. Now, let's drag over a few fields that we're interested in to display them on our grid. We'll select first name, last name, and home phone. Next, we can name the window. We'll call it All Accounts. and we'll give it a new height, 400 pixels. We'll click OK and see an actual preview of our data in our new grid. Let's display a few extra rows by changing it to 16. We'll hit OK and watch the grid now render with the updated parameters. So we're finished the first part of our dashboard design. Let's move on and add some new account functionality. UI for CRM ships with pre-built widgets, and of course you can build your own as well. Let's create a new input form. We'll drag over our pre-built connection to our CRM account creation procedure, and then we'll configure it to display only the fields we're interested in. To make life easier for our agent, let's just do first name and last name, which is a much simpler way of initially adding an account than our current CRM system offers. Let's add the two fields we need in our form. We'll rename this one to first name. The field name it points to in our data source, of course, is the first name in the CRM system. Let's also add a last name and tie it to the data source in the same way. Expanding on our dashboard, let's add the customer detail view, which will populate every time we select a record. This can be used to modify account details. We'll build the form the same way we did the add new accounts form, dragging in all the fields. And since you've already seen that, let's, for the sake of this demonstration, skip past to the end of the individual field creation process. We'll click OK, and our form renders. You can see here that we have a name selected on the left, and the details show up in the form. Let's finish the dashboard as per our earlier design. We want to display the call notes and add a form to give the agent the ability to add some new notes. Again, let's skip forward to the end of that process, which is essentially the same thing that we've already seen. Now we can test out our new CRM UI. As we click through the accounts on the left, you can see the contact details populating and the call notes being retrieved. Not bad for less than 10 minutes of work. 
Now we're almost finished. Let's add the ability to add new call notes. This is the same process again. We'll skip to the end. And now we can add our interactive geographical map. We'll drag it over to the canvas, specify the height, and now we just need to connect it to the address of the customer selected here in all accounts on the left. We'll drag over the customer address components one by one to create the full address. Let me speed through that. And that's it. We've finished our dashboard, our new UI for CRM. Let's try it out. As we click on the customers on the left-hand grid, the map updates. Now, we have a fully functional call center specific UI for our CRM system. Now we simply publish and we wait for approval for the UI to help our agents taking calls.